Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can control animations with the animator component and C sharp in Unity. This tutorial is sponsored by John John Games. So, if you guys are looking for a channel with plenty of content, gaming, and creativity, John's channel is the place to go. You should probably check out some of his socials too and stay up to date with all his latest content. Loads of stuff to see. You can find all kinds of games on there, some Grand Theft Auto stuff, even a couple of tutorials that even I haven't covered. If you fancy being sponsored in one of these tutorials, just like John John Games, all you need to do is click that join button below and become a sponsor. Now, on with the tutorial. Yeah, click the subscribe button and click that bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial that I upload and every review I upload and everything on game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So I have a model here and I have a couple of animations. It's just a model from Mixamo. Obviously the animations come with it and this will apply to absolutely any model with any animations. So if you have a model of a zombie with some animations, same principle will apply. Now the reason we're using the animator component as opposed to the animation component is the animation component is not really supported. Uh, in fact it may have disappeared completely by the time you see this video. So we stick with the animator component. Now both work fundamentally the same in a coding uh, level, but the setup of it is a little bit different. So these three animations are gonna to apply to this model. I'm gonna control it with some buttons on the screen, but you're not restricted to just having this code in buttons. You could have the main code in, for example, a start method or maybe even a coroutine or anything really. So to get this set up properly, let's first attach one of the animations to the character just to see this uh, apply the animator right here. Now, if we double click this character controller right there, it'll take us to the animator screen. And we can see here that we already have that dance uh, animation. We can add the others in here as well if we just drag and drop them. Just remember those names. And what I always like to do is right click create state empty and it's just called new state and have that one as the default state and all that basically means is that the animation is not going to play no animation is going to play unless you create an animation that is called new state but that's irrelevant at this point so like i say we're going to control this using some buttons and we have those animations now inside that controller still there all good so let's just quickly create a random UI button. I'm not going to mess around with any buttons or anything like that. I'm just going to have it uh, center of the screen just so we can see. So when we click it, it's going to do something. So now let's create the C-sharp code to enable that button to play different animations. So right click, create C-sharp script. Let's call this animator test. And let's open that up in Visual Studio. So how do we do this? Well, firstly, let's declare the variable of, well, the model. So public game object, the model, semicolon. And we're not gonna use the void start or void update simply because we're doing this via some buttons. So let's create a method for each button for each animation. So we're gonna have one for jump, one for dance, one for whatever the other one was. So public void and jump button, open close bracket, open curly bracket. And then we're gonna say the model dot get component, open spiky bracket, animator. I notice the animation option is still there, but we're definitely going animator dot play. And in the parentheses and quotes, put the name of the animation, which is indeed called jump. And then semicolon to close up that method. Now the same principle applies exactly the same for the others. So one was dance and the animation is called dance. I think it is. And the other one is called fall. So it's that line of code that applies anywhere. So no matter what you do, no matter what method you're making, this line of code referencing the animator and playing the animation attached to it is what makes this whole thing work. So I'm going to save that script now. And all I'm going to do is the button that we've created so far, I'm going to have that as just jump. So 
let's quickly set up that button. Uh, let's add in a new game object and just drag and drop that script onto there and bring the character. So all of this doesn't really matter too much, the whole setup of it on a button, because like I say, this can be applied to any script. And it's just that line of code, which is the important one that plays that animation. So I'm just going to quickly set up this button to allow us to press it. And I did say it was going to be jump. So if we press play now, we should be able to see, pressing that, jump. No problem. So repeatedly pressing it doesn't work. Reason being is because basically we have to, if, tell you what, best way I can show you this in action is if I add some other buttons as well. So if I add a second button, and if I find out where it is in the scene, let's bring it down. And then another button, bring it down. So we've got three buttons. And this is the best way of me showing why it doesn't work. So let's have the second one as fall. And let's have the third one as dance. So that right there. So if we press play, let's go down in order. So let's go with that one. She jumps. Let's go with this one fall over let's go with this one does a weird little twirl and you can see if we go back you can repeat but if we tried both uh, sorry one after the other it doesn't work basically you just have to reset it but that's irrelevant to what we're doing here it is that line of code which allows us to play various animations the animator component is the component you should be using no matter what for anything at this point. Don't use the animation component because, like I said, I'm not even sure if it's still uh, part of it. Let's have a quick look. Oh, it's still there, animation. So if you've used this in the past, fundamentally it is the same at a coding level. It's just that setup of the controller is a little bit different. Just keep that in mind, but try to move away from the animation and use animator. So guys, hope that's helped. And if you want to know any more, leave a comment below. Like I say, don't forget to check out my channel. There's absolutely tons of videos on game development. Guys, thank you very much for watching.